Chinook Sciences is a U.S. and U.K.-based technology company that specializes in waste-to-energy and metal recovery. Patents Chinook Sciences holds many patents for its non-incineration, ultra-clean synthetic gas technology, which is specifically designed for energy or liquid fuel generation. They call this technology, active pyro. This is used in their proprietary and patented RODECS system, which has gone through nine design generations since the year 2000. History Foundation Chinook Sciences formed in 1998. The company began as a research group led by experts in nuclear, thermal and gas processing and was supporting those industries. The company soon moved its focus on becoming a technology and equipment provider to metal, industries gases and environmental industries. Topic: Formation of Chinook Energy. In October 2008, Chinook Sciences announced the formation of Chinook Energy, a division that would exclusively handle their waste to energy technology application. Topic. Announcement of Innovative Environmental Solutions UK Limited In March 2009 Chinook Sciences and European Metal Recycling EMR announced a joint venture named Innovative Environmental Solutions UK Limited IES which they would claim as the first commercial scale enterprise to generate renewable electricity and recycle metal from automobile shredder residue ASR the proposed venture would process 120,000 metric tons of automobile shredder residue per year using Chinook's patented and proprietary RODECS gasification system. The RODECS will gasify the ASR, destroying all harmful emissions, recover all valuable material, primarily metal, contained in the ASR for recycling, reduce greenhouse gases on a net basis m tons, and generate approximately 30 MW of renewable electricity, enough electricity to power 21,000 homes. In February 2010, EMR announced that they had secured planning permission for this plant in the UK town of Bootle in Merseyside, Liverpool. The significance of the project was highlighted in a scoping opinion produced by the Liverpool City Council, which said, the EMR plant currently sends some 184,000 tonnes of SLF to landfill annually. The construction and operation of the proposed gasification plant will remove the need for almost 90% of this disposal, and the associated traffic trips. This extra recycling stage will actively support EMR in meeting the requirements of the EU End of Life Vehicle Directive, the ELV Directive where the ultimate goal is to reduce the amount of each ELV going to landfill to a maximum of 5%. == Second ASR to power plant in UK In November 2009 documents submitted to Sandwell Metropolitan Borough Council surfaced that revealed a proposal to build a second recycling and gasification facility in the UK. 
This proposed facility would be built by European Metal Recycling and use Chinook Science's patented RODECS gasification system. The proposed facility would have the capacity to process up to 190,000 tons of waste a year, which would recover metals, plastics and aggregates. The remaining material wood, foam and plastics would then be treated using gasification to generate up to 30 MWh of electricity. This would leave only 3% around 5,700 tons of the initial waste that would be sent to landfill. This would make it one of the largest facilities in the UK dealing with pose shredder residue from end of life vehicles ELVs. The British Metal Recycling Association of which EMR is one of the largest members called for more financial support from the government to help develop the UK's capacity to recover post shred residue in order to meet its ELV goals. The UK has previously fallen short of meeting the target set by the European Union for reusing, recycling and recovering energy from 85% of end-of-life vehicles. <laughs> Announcement of Turkey projects In March and April 2010 the Overseas Private Investment Corporation announced they had approved two loans of $30 million and $75 million for the development of two combined aluminum recycling and renewable energy plants in Turkey. The plants would use Chinook Sciences' state-of-the-art RODECS gasification system. The first plant's goal is to deliver 60,000 tons of recycled aluminum annually in liquid form and would occupy a 6,500 square meter facility in Tekerdag, outside of Istanbul and would be operated by DT Metal Jerry Kazanum Technologilary Sanayi Ve Tikaret Anonym Sirketi. The plant became fully operational in November 2010. An additional $14 million in financial support was secured for this project in April 2010 from a UK finance firm CHP and the UK's official export credit agency The second plant's goal is to process up to 41,000 tonnes of secondary aluminum annually. The construction and operation by St. Herta Metal Ogutmi Technologilary Sanayi Ve Tikaret as plans to also build an associated 5.4 MW heat capture energy generation unit for the provision of excess power to the local electricity grid. <laughs> Office and workforce expansion in UK The office relocation of Chinook Sciences UK headquarters was announced in October 2010. Moving to a 15,000 square feet Grade A office space in the eco-friendly Nottingham Science Park and the doubling of the workforce from 45 to 90 over the next year. Topic Department of Commerce appointment In November of 2010 it was announced that William Gleason, then President of Chinook Energy was appointed to the U.S. Department of Commerce's Renewable Energy and Energy Advisory Committee. Topic. Further UK expansion February 2011 saw Chinook Sciences further expand in the UK with a substantial industrial warehouse in Lenton, Nottingham. It was then announced in October 2011 that Chinook Sciences would expand its UK office space in Nottingham Science Park from 15,000 square feet to 20,500 square feet. 
The new space was announced to fulfill Chinook Science's need to expand and upgrade the remote command and control station used to support their partner facilities. Topic: <laughs> Appointment of new CFO. Chinook Sciences announced the appointment of Harry W. Zyke as Chief Financial Officer in March 2012. Harry W. Zyke brings more than 30 years of experience in international finance and business to the company. Having previously worked with Siemens, Price Waterhouse and Energy Conversion Devices. Topic construction begins on Innovative Environmental Solutions Plant in UK June 2012 saw the announcement that construction had begun on the Industrial Waste Gasification and Advanced Recycling Facility Plant, owned by Innovative Environmental Solutions, a joint venture between Chinook Sciences and European Metal Recycling. This plant will produce 40 MW of environmentally sustainable energy and recover over 190,000 tons of other recycled materials. <laughs> BIFA bid In August 2012 it was announced that Chinook Urban Mining Limited, of which Chinook Sciences has a minority interest, had submitted a £520 million cash offer for BIFA in partnership with private equity firms including Clearbrook Capital. Chinook Urban Mining Limited submitted a revised offer to acquire 100% of Biffa Waste Management in April 2013 with Deutsche Bank. Topic: <laughs> Chinook Energy supports Nottinghamshire Wildlife Trust Green Guardians Awards. The Protecting the Environment Through Innovation category, supported by Chinook Energy was presented to Edwalton Primary School for their new eco-hub which supports schools wanting to develop their sustainability work. They host visits from other schools, run training events, support trainee teachers in learning about environmental education. Topic. Appointment of new Corporate Strategy Director In April 2013 Chinook Sciences announced the appointment of Will Temple as Corporate Strategy Director of their Energy Division. Will Temple who brings over 10 years of experience in private equity most of which was in the waste management and renewable energy sectors. Topic. Partnership for Scottish Energy from Waste Plant announced The development of an energy from waste plant in North Lanarkshire, Scotland was announced in August 2013. A strategic partnership between Chinook Sciences Energy Division Chinook Energy and Shore Energy gained planning permission to build a plant that can process up to 160,000 tonnes of refuse-derived fuel. This plant will be the first in a planned series of facilities as part of the joint venture, and aims to create renewable energy from biomass diverted from landfill waste. Topic. Partnership for Largest UK Waste to Energy Plant announced August 2013 also saw the announcement of a new partnership between Chinook Sciences and European Metal Recycling to build a waste to energy facility in Oldbury in the UK. The plant will be able to process up to 350,000 metric tons of material per year. 
which would make it the largest WTE plant in the UK. Topic: <laughs> Chinook Sciences wins Nottinghamshire Best Business Award for 2013. In October 2013 Chinook Sciences was awarded the Excellence in Innovation Award by the Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire Chamber of Commerce in the annual Best Business Awards. <laughs> Chinook Sciences wins Environment and Energy Award at Sustainability Live for Innovation in Energy from Waste It was announced in April 2014 that Chinook Sciences had been honored in the 20th Annual Environment and Energy Awards. Chinook won as the most innovative company in the energy from waste category for its patented end-stage recycling technology with renewable energy generation. Chinook Sciences wins Queen's Award for Enterprise in Innovation Chinook Sciences was named winner of the Queen's Award for Enterprise in Innovation on 21 April 2014. Published on that date to mark the Queen's birthday. Chinook Sciences won for their development of thermal heat treatment plants for recovering recycled metal and generating renewable energy from waste. Topic: <laughs> Chinook Sciences wins 300 million pounds United Arab Emirates deal. On May 23, 2014 Chinook Sciences announced that it had secured a £300 million deal in principle subject to acceptable EPC with the environmental and waste management company BIA to build a thermal energy from waste facility in Sharjah, UAE. If the project proceeds, the deal is expected to create around 200 British jobs and secure another 650. Topic: <laughs> Chinook Sciences wins prestigious Institute of Engineering and Technology award. On November 18, 2015, Chinook Sciences was honored to win the Power – Energy category at the Institute of Engineering and Technology Awards in London. <laughs>